Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And we're continuing our career with our man, TGXXL Truck. <clears throat> so, we managed to tow the bulldozer last time. Without the my headphones crashing. But, there are some new upgrades available and one of them is a new 360 horsepower engine. That's a significant enough upgrade over... Um, what I have, which I believe is 320. So we're going to go and get that engine. And uh, we'll get our truck repaired, even though it's only 1%. I like to upkeep it. And we'll take our next uh, load, which I think I looked at, but it's been a little while. So uh, I forget. Right. Um, set GPS to near shop. That makes it the fastest. Brake is on. Ah. Okay. Right. Got to do it with the brake, or else it doesn't work. There we go. So as you can see, I have the small. Well, this isn't the small mirror mod I usually use or used to use but as you can see now I do have a small floating mirror mod in, or you know makes the floating mirror tiny so I'm also gonna have to think about fuel for our next run for sure So, not a whole lot happening, you know, just the usual day-to-day -day stuff. Wow, you're going to pass me already. I'm barely out of the block and you're already passing me. Actually, I really hope we don't run out of fuel. I mean, we won't right now, because um, we're not running with a trailer. But get a trailer on there, and that, you know, drastically changes the, the fuel consumption, obviously. Wow, this is a long way to the nearest shop just to get a new engine. We delivered in the middle of nowhere. Wow, great corner there, big man. Yeah. Look at this. I'm getting passed again. Well, he's going to have to stop because... Oh! oh! Did you see that in the rearview mirror? Go back and check that out if you didn't. Damn, he got hit. If I find a gas station along the way, I'm going to stop. But this is a long-ass way to the nearest garage. Well, there's something, at least. 
Salzburg. Well, the thing that trips me out is, like, there not being a gas station in, like, every town. Because there really should be. How many towns do you know that don't have a gas station of some sort? Yeah? I don't know any. I know several small towns that have several gas stations, let alone bigger ones. So why are all the gas stations only on the highway? What about the people that live here? You know, where do they get their gas? They gotta go up on the highway? Oh, you're kidding me. Hate you, Light. Hate you. Don't ask me why I'm going this way. I just am. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying not to sniff too much. It's one of those days. Maybe that's why I drove by this spot. I want to get the Daft dealership. Yeah, there you go. That's a good reason as any. Oh, for crying out loud. This in-town traffic is killing me. Yeah, that's another strange thing. It's like you drive by a dealership, yeah? If you don't drive by the entrance, then you won't notice the dealership, even if you drive by it, like, at a different angle. So if I came along that top street, I actually wouldn't have discovered uh, the dealership. Which is kind of funny, is because it, 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 if you think about it, it's like going, Hey, is that a DAF dealership? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, cool. But wait, where's the entrance? That's uh, not on the street. Well, crap. I guess I can't go there. You know. You know what? Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. I did that on purpose. I was getting a little frustrated at the red lights and sometimes I do things I shouldn't when I'm getting frustrated. All right, upgrade. Engine, you see 320. So we add 200 newton meters, and we add 40 horsepower. But I'm not changing the bottom bar or anything else. I'm not getting anything else. Um, so, oh wait, uh, right. Um, do the service, get the tires done. Okay. So now we need our freight market. We are here in Salzburg, and we want it by price per distance. Hmm. Just making sure, yeah, this, this again, as you can see, fortunately you can't zoom in on the map, oh, sorry, as you can see, it looks like it deliver, delivers in the middle of nowhere again. It passes through uh, Prara, or whatever that is. I, I, I'm sorry if I butcher names. Prague? No, not Prague. Prara. Prara. Mm. Oh. 
but it doesn't actually deliver anywhere near a town. I'm delivering, like, out here. And that's not really what I want. So I'm more inclined to take this job, which is almost the same and only pays four cents less. Uh, I'm really not willing to go this far. Although that's... No, that's not a heavy duty. At least I don't think that's a heavy duty, but... I think we'll take this job. Even though we're going to have to travel back for it. I don't know. This one's in town for sure. That one, I think, is at the quarry that we were at. That's significantly less money, though. But you know what? I don't feel like driving all the way back to get that trailer. So I'm just going to take that... Um, I'm just going to take that box trailer. Besides, at 15 tons, it won't put such a strain on our gas situation right now. So hopefully we can um, find a gas station without too much trouble. Helps to actually be in a gear where you can accelerate there, dude. That's nice. Alright, alright, alright. And see, now I can stop, like, significantly closer to light and the line um, and still see it. And it still gives me more than enough view I need to see what's on my side. You know, I get the same amount of view, just mu in a much smaller box. Oh, these lights. Lights are killing me. That's a pretty cool trailer right there. I know it's a lightweight, but it's still pretty cool. It's actually nice to see a couple Renaults. Alright, video game consoles. Cool, we're delivering them PS4s. I think I looked and said we were going to take like one of the dozers or something, but I really changed my mind. I just don't want to drive all the way back to that quarry to pick them up. And I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to... Um, Alright. We're good. I'm trying to pay a little bit more attention to um, where I'm dropping them off. Because I've already dropped off a couple quarries where, um... Oh, where did you come from? Okay. Okay. Pretty sure I can get around you. But I should probably wait. Right. Thanks for letting me go, guys. Thanks for letting me go. Appreciate it. Please don't let this be one of those ones. I'm going to be stuck here forever. Right. Dude! God, if I was coming out of here with a big trail, I'd be up on the sidewalk to get it around. Well, I didn't have to go up on the sidewalk there, but... like, If I was coming out with a train or something, I'd have been way up on the sidewalk just to get around him. They should call this Euro Traffic Light Simulator. Because every time you come to a light, it's red. <sighs> come on, light. Let's go.
Oh god, somebody's turning. Yep. These lights are so short, man. Well. Oops. Actually meant to do two. Let's take a quick look at our truck. That looks pretty standard, yeah? Yeah. That looks pretty standard. Oh, stop trying to turn and just go. Jeez. Everybody's turning. You know, I got to admit, if this was off camera at this point, I'd be up and around on that damn sidewalk already. Oh, we're going to have to deal with it again with at least two. No, nope, now we got three, three cars. Four. Five. Uh, we're stuck for at least one more cycle. At least. Because these cars won't go. Now, the funny thing is, were we on the other side of the street trying to go? Yeah. Were we on the other side where that DAF is coming this way, for some reason, all the cars would be allowed to turn and we would have to wait to go. I've been here for what, four cycles of this light? At least uh, now I can go. Even when the light changes, I'm past the light. So I can just go. Thank God. You weren't supposed to do that. But hopefully we're done dealing with lights for a while. We got a new engine adding 40 horsepower and 200 newton meters for our torque. Which is actually a fairly significant upgrade uh, engine wise. So. Our next train won't be quite as tough, but it'll still be a major pain. Uh, I always forget where I put my lights. I should have my lights on for the tunnel. Even though I was already, like, approaching the end of it. So, we've got you know, a, a good amount of fuel. I don't think enough to make this trip. Um, well, technically, we do, roughly. We got enough to go another 791 kilometers, and this trip is only 466. But, that doesn't mean it'll stay that way. If we find, like, what we're approaching, uh, and it's a hard climb, that'll, you know, definitely affect it more. Slow traffic, which, you know, traffic in front of us is always going slower on back roads. But I'm pretty sure we'll find a gas station between here and there. So, we should be okay. You know, it's awfully bright out for being, um, 11.30. Well, no, that's my ETA. There, it's only, uh, is that 4 o'clock, actually? I'm an idiot. My ETA is 11.30. I always do stupid things like that. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, 
about a week ago, I actually glanced down at the, the clock on my keyboard, yeah? And the clock on my keyboard said it was like what I thought was 741. And then, you know, it immediately ticked over to 742. And for that very brief moment, I didn't think anything of it. It's like, oh, I looked just as the minutes were changing. And then it instantly changed to 743. I was like, what? And I saw 744, 745. I'm like, holy crap, either my keyboard is broken or I'm entering a time warp. And then my eyes finally straightened out from being cockeyed, I guess. And I realized that somehow my eyes had put together the hours and the seconds and had somehow excluded the minutes. So, it was really weird. What are we, in Ireland? I mean, I know we're not. We're headed for Italy. Still. There's our vegetation. I was wondering about that. Oh, God. Really? Hang on, folks. I gotta pause the recording till that vacuuming's done. Alright. I think we're good. So we can continue our trip. Oh. Okay there, Geronimo. Stay on the street. It's nice, actually, to tow a, a normal uh, trailer every so often. You know what I'm saying? Just a nice uh, box trailer. Not always be hauling heavy equipment or unique trailers. Yeah, I knew we were going to slow down on this hill. I do like that it seems like they've changed some of the um, traffic UI. Like, you see that truck up ahead, even though we're on a highway. He slowed down on the hill rather than just bombing along. I'm actually kind of surprised at how much we slowed down, to be honest. I don't know what's going on with my controller wire. It's like all bent out of shape. It's a little annoying. I mean, we're only hauling 15 tons. There should be a gas station soon, I hope. Wow, that car actually cut that car off? I'm amazed. Oh, we're just gonna go then. No, I'm actually gonna check the map. Oh yeah, there's a gas station right there. Alright, 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 alright. It's a very strange place for a gas station. Well, we again, if you look at the map, there's another gas station and even a third one. So, we're all good. We are all good. Oh, steep hill.
I think I honestly have to up the steering sensitivity a little bit. But that could just be me. Just tell me this isn't like a bunch of trucks in the way. They're all parked along the side, right? Yeah, we're good. I haven't seen this before. This is new to truck sim. Has to be. I'm loving some of these cool trailers, though. Ah, I hit the wrong button. I was like, what the hell? Alright. Let's get some gas. Petro. Diesel. That's going to be quite a bit, because we have a pretty big tank. There we go. Gas situation sorted. Now, believe it or not, there is actually a way, unless they patched it, um, to get away without having to pay for gas. It's a bit annoying, though. And I'm not going to pull it on my career. I actually don't ever uh, try and pull it off just because of how annoying it is to me to do. And that is, after you fuel up, instead of driving off, you just log out of the game. You just leave the game. Log back in and drive off and it used to be, I don't know if it still is or if they've patched it since I stopped playing. Um, you don't have to pay for gas anymore. So if you're low on funds, I suppose, and you need fuel, you know, there's a way to get it. Yeah, I'm low geared, but it's fine. It's a downhill. probably just put my lights on now it's 18 yeah you know what I'll just put them on now so I don't forget it's interesting it's the first time I've actually had my ETA go up it was 11, you know, a little before 11.30, now it's actually a little, a little uh, before 12.30. 12, 12, God, really? I restarted because my mother-in-law started mopping, which usually means she's done. And so I was hoping that maybe it was just a little spot, something she saw. It, it's, you know, it's... An annoying, yes. I'm, I'm not going to lie that I don't feel annoyed. But, but, it is what it is. I live in a small house with a lot of people. And things like that are going to happen. You know, it's just the luck of the draw today is all. Nothing more. Oh, please stop. stop. Alright. <sighs> I'll be back when it stops. I swear it's purposely trying to annoy me at this point. I'll be back when it stops. Alright. Let's try one more time. I think I'm going to be safe to pass here. Even if it's two trucks. Because there is absolutely nothing coming the... There was absolutely nothing coming the other direction. 
thanks for slowing down, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, had I known this, I wouldn't have done that. Had I known this was going to split into a highway. You know, I actually kind of regret a little bit is not doing a, a career challenge. And that would be going and using the Renault uh, Magnum. Um, I refuse to use the Renault Premium. Nothing against the truck. Um, I just personally, personally, I don't like... Um, the Renault Premium versus the Renault Magnum. I like the Magnum much, much more. Um, the only problem is, is I know that the Renaults don't have chassis upgrades, and I would actually have to go and get one. You know? I'd have to go and get a Renault chassis upgrade. Oh, we're making good time. We're cutting the ETA back down. That's a good thing. It's just um, too bad we're going to hit a toll bridge. Toll booth. Toll bridge is a toll across a bridge. This is just a standard toll road. Toll booth. Yeah, it looks like a Van Hool bus. Just the back lights on it look man cool. And yes, I do know what Van Hool buses are because I used to drive them. That was the bus that the very last company I worked for uh, before going on disability used. They used Van Hool buses, which I thoroughly enjoyed. I think the Van Hools are really good buses. I forget the type of other bus that we used that I used to drive. Um, it was one of those three-letter company things. Um, they they weren't as good, in my opinion. They really weren't as good. We have just enough speed for what? Slow down here? You know, it was really tricky for, you know, I, at least I thought it would be really tricky to get into a, a motor coach and learn how to drive it, despite the fact I actually took very well to it. No trucks in this lane, and yet here I am. Uh, the main reason I thought it would be tricky is because of where you're situated as a driver. You actually sit in front of the rear wheel, so that when you turn, you actually get a sensation and it's mainly because you are of when you turn going sideways and despite the fact that I took to it very well and did very well with it the reality is it, w it was actually quite a um, disconcerting feeling for the first few days that I had to deal with it you know you just get that sensation of moving sideways when you take a sharp corner, you know? 
Now we get a three lane so I can take up the middle. I want to break a little bit before entering this. I don't like entering certain corners at full speed, and just to be sure. Not so much, I, I, I know we only got a 15 ton trailer, but the truth is, is we have a, even though the man, I really feel like is the most stable truck in the game as a starter truck, and I actually believe it's probably the most stable truck in the high end, um, it doesn't like to tip over. I still keep in mind that we're only 4x2, so we're not, you know, we're not going to have the best stability that we can get out of this. Not much further, not much further. <sighs> I tell you, so many things could go into American Truck Simulator that could really help. And I'm... Oh! I didn't see him. Oh, fudge. Fudgesicles. The strange thing is, is I actually didn't get penalized for that. Thought for sure I'd get an accident and you know damage once I actually impacted him because I didn't see him. Very strange I didn't, and I feel like a complete idiot. It's because I. It, it's the curse of. Um, the curse I have of trying to talk and maybe regale something, you know, a little small story or something while driving um, I start getting into so what I'm doing that I forget to watch where the frack I'm actually supposed to go and stupid things like that end up happening but Putting that aside, I was saying there's so many things that I hope uh, SCS uh, learned. I knew I was supposed to go this way, I just didn't think it would be that sharp. Or sudden, I should say. I was actually looking for, you know, a, a guide into the off-ramp, not just suddenly off-ramp. But uh, as I was saying, um, and I mentioned this before, and somebody had actually just left me uh, a message, is that like when you go to buy a truck, your very first truck, it really shouldn't be a new truck. It shouldn't. As a driver that's been doing jobs for companies, setting out on my own, I should not have the funds, nor should I have the bank's trust enough to buy a brand new truck. And I, I think even if I did, most people wouldn't. You get a used truck. And there are still plenty of old trucks out there on the road, you know? trucks dating back to 1970s and whatnot that are still hauling today. Now, granted, this was a while ago when this happened, but I'll give you an example about some what I mean. When I was about 19 or 20 years old. Now, I'll make it quick. Uh, I was standing with a friend of mine. Uh, we were in a schoolyard somewhere for some event. And there was a, you know, a guy there with a truck, and he was just finishing hooking up to a trailer. And 
I wanted to go check out the truck because it looked really, really cool. And it was an old 1973 Peterbilt. And talking to the guy and, you know, and, and going over the truck and whatnot, kind of found out that the guy was, he was an older, he was an older guy. He was probably in his 50s, maybe even older than that. Uh, and he was saying, you know, he's just tired of being on the road and dealing with the truck and all that. And he actually even made an offer to me and my friend. <laughs> I don't know how, se I, I didn't think he was serious, but apparently he was. You know, he offered to help us, uh, you know, oh, you know, if you want, you can buy the truck. And he actually quoted us a price and, you know, I'll sell it to you. And I was like, but, and I was like, but yes, we're just, you know, we're not even 20 years old. We don't even have license, you know, we don't have, you know, class A, we don't even have class A licenses. And he's like, well, you know, I'll, I'll teach you. I'll help you get your license. And, you know, and it's like, well, yeah, okay, but, you know, how are we going to get the money? He's like, well, that's simple. You know, I'll just continue to work with you and, um, you know, for a few years, for a few more years, I'll just work with you. And then once you, oh, God damn it. See what I'm saying? Because it's a freaking toll area, of course. Uh, I hate when I do this. Stop just shy. And it's like, you know, once the truck is paid off, or mostly paid off, you know, then you can pay me the rest. And, you know, you can go on your own, and he says, I'll even teach you, but... Why? Why did I do that? You know, I'll even teach you about, you know, finding jobs and, and dealing with companies and making deals. And I, you know, was 19 years old, was like, no way, no way I could do this, it's, you know. But I look back on that, you know, being much older now, and it's like, well, what if? What if I had taken the offer? I might have had a Class A license. And I don't regret, honestly, not taking the offer. It's not regret. It's just kind of a, you know, I wonder what would have happened if I did. You know, that's all. And that's kind of a funny uh, way and a very long way of uh, going over the fact that it was an old 1973 uh, Peterbilt now, isn't it? Well, it's just my case in point. When you buy a truck for the very first time, you're not going to be buying a brand new truck. You're going to be buying used. You're not going to be able to just go into the bank and borrow... 400, 500, or even a hundred thousand dollars, and sink it into buying a truck and trying to start your own business. It's just not going to happen that way. actually up there in the stamina meter man I mean fortunately our delivery is right here but still for me it's ooh. all right I slowed down a little too much but still Are there really towns like this in Europe that have speed bumps going into the town like this? Just 
seems really weird if that's the case. Sorry. This shouldn't be too difficult to back in. By which I mean now it'll be a really terrible back in. What are you doing riding your bike at night through a factory? Alright, alright, now I see it. I was like, where the hell's the back end point? I was like, I can't see it. I don't know why I turned as far as I did that way. I shouldn't have. Wow, I did a really horrible job of this. And yet, it's still going to give it to me. Wow. Very forgiving backing system here. Not my best first run back for the week. Now, keeping in mind, I'm recording these a week in advance. Definitely not my best uh, first run, man. I had uh, an accident, ran a light, had a speeding ticket, and it's not very good. Not very good at all. Alright, I'm going to continue opening up the ADR. Alright. Let's find us a place to rest. Which, we go right down here. And then we can go here. Or here, it looks like. This may be a garage. I don't, I don't know. This is a place we can buy. I'm not sure what that place is. Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's just go somewhere we can rest. Hello! Being as late at night as it is, I'm like not expecting uh, too many... Oh, for fucks... Uh, I'm not doing well, and that's really annoying me. And what it does is it kind of turns into a quicksand situation. What's a quicksand situation? Well, glad you asked. Yeah, it's a dealership. Good, I like unlocking dealerships. Scania! No, Scania, stop tempting me. <sighs> I'm just going to do service and we'll see what the new stuff is. Did unlock, if anything, unlocked for this level. Um, alright, it, it's not really going to matter, but I forgot, every time you go to the garage, you have to put your auxiliaries on, so, that, okay, yeah. Oops, sorry. Let's look at the map real quick and see what our next jobs might be. Because we're in Bologna. Mmm, looks like we've got some not so great choices, huh? Well, the prices actually aren't bad. That is a ferry run, but it looks like it has an interesting drive. And it's definitely somewhere I haven't been. That goes to Zurich. Uh, stop that. And that goes to 
Algier. Well, we're, we're most likely going to take this one and we'll take our first ferry trip over to uh, Larizia. Okay, and just real quick, let's see what our upgrades are. New bar, new light bar, new tire. Not interested right now. All right, folks, that's going to be me done for this episode. Um, I really apologize for all the missteps I made while driving. Again, doing these week by week, it's taken me longer to warm back up to the game than it normally would. Um, I also apologize for, you know, the bad timing for the vacuuming. Like I said, um, it's a small house, it's a crowded house, and things need to get done. And I try and work around that, and sometimes I just pick the wrong times. You know, but, hey, I always say it's part of how I keep things real, you know. But that's going to be me done for this episode, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is going to be one big bugger. I'm going to be signing out. I'll see you then.